This video gives you an overview of the workflow to translate your Simulink models into C code in compliance with the Mr. C coding standard using Embedded Coder. As you can see in the figure, once you have your design algorithm complete and you are ready to generate code from the model, the first step is the model advisor. Let's use the shipped example model for an automatic transmission controller and the subsystem of interest is the shift logic here. So let me launch the model advisor for the shift logic subsystem. Model Advisor has pre-built a set of checks for MISRC 2012. They check the model or the subsystem in this case so that there are no modeling patterns or constructs that can cause MISR violations in the generated code and that the model configuration parameters are set to recommended options. Once you run the set of checks for MISR, you can see how your model complies and where there are potential violations by looking at the checks that do not pass. The Model Advisor also provides you with guidance on how to address these issues. In this case, I have a couple of warnings, primarily due to the configuration parameters, and you can easily modify those settings to recommended values. In some cases, like in this example, you might not be able to comply with a particular check. In this example, it is because of the use of equality or inequality operations on floating point values here in the sign block and the recommendation is to use non-floating point values. To address this might require major modifications to my model. So I'm going to go ahead with this warning and address this at the code level instead. Now you can move on to the next step that is generating code from my model. Embedded Coder also provides you with Code Generation Advisor and as you can see here, you can configure the code generation for Mr. Compliance as opposed to other objectives. You can now go ahead and generate code from the subsystem. Finally, to demonstrate compliance, you need to run a static analysis tool to document any remaining violations. As you can see here, Polyspace Bug Finder is integrated into the Simlink environment and you can launch the analysis on the generated code from within the Simlink environment. When you look at the results, there are no violations of mandatory or required rules. There are only violations of advisory and readability rules, so there is no need to justify or modify either the model or the code. You can document the results in the form of reports using the MISRA template provided in Bugfinder to demonstrate compliance. 